Warning. Cinnamaldehyde is a skin irritant, gloves, goggles, and lab coat are recommended. Cinnamaldehyde is the organic compound responsible for the characteristic odor and flavor of cinnamon, at room temperature it is a slightly yellow oil, which is naturally occurring in small quantities in common cinnamon bark. Chemically speaking is a quite interesting molecule, it has an alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl group which gives it a special reactivity, cinnamaldehyde is typically used in the fragrance and food industry, however it is also used as a fungicide and insecticide. Materials and reagents required Cinnamon bark, cinnamon powder should be avoided as it tends to produce foam during the distillation. Ethyl acetate Brine solution, distilled water First about 26 grams of cinnamon barks are crushed using a mortar and a pestle, by crushing them we improve the contact area with the steam during the co-distillation, which helps the overall yield, however, we should avoid getting a finely divided powder as this will produce a lot of foaming during the distillation and it can ruin the steam distillation. Now the cinnamon bark is placed inside a 3 neck round bottom flask, you could use also a single neck RB flask but it is better to use a 3-neck one if you have it, you will see later why. Once all the cinnamon was added, 150 ml of distilled water are added to the flask. Then, an addition funnel is placed in one of the necks of the RB flask, the other neck is blocked using a glass cork, then, a general distillation setup is assembled. The water flow and the heating mantle are then turned on. Actually we will extract the cinnamaldehyde from cinnamon by a process known as steam distillation. This technique is based on a process known as co-distillation, in which a secondary solvent, in this case water, is boiled out, as it boils it traps minimum amounts of the desired compound, in this case cinnamaldehyde which are is co-distilled in addition to the solvent. Cinnamaldehyde is an oily substance, which is hardly soluble in water, due to the presence of micro droplets of this compound in the water the distilled looks cloudy. After a while the solvent started to boil quite vigorously, it might be a nice idea to add some boiling stones to ensure a gentle boiling of the solution avoiding the bumping of the liquid. You can clearly see how the cloudy distilled is condensed on the walls of the condenser, at this point the liquid obtained showed a strong cinnamon-like smell. From time to time the stopcock of the addition funnel containing some distilled water is opened and some water is added to the flask, if you are using a single neck RB flask, the cork of the distillation head should be removed and some water must be added, it is important to keep a more or less constant water level, if not the yield will be affected and the cinnamon can get burned. When the distilled is not cloudy anymore the distillation is stopped. Now we have to isolate the cinnamaldehyde from the whole distilled, this is done by a liquid-liquid extraction, first the distilled is placed in a separatory funnel, then 15 ml of ethyl acetate are added to the separatory funnel. The separatory funnel is then shaked carefully to prevent the formation of an emulsion, remember always to vent out the funnel if not the pressure inside it can build up. When the phases are settled down, the organic phase is collected in a clean beaker, the aqueous phase is poured again into the separatory funnel and another 15 ml of ethyl acetate are added. This process is repeated a total of three times. The organic phases collected in the liquid-liquid extractions are poured together in the separatory funnel, as you can see it is pretty dirty, the organic phase is then washed with 10 ml of brine solution, the aqueous phase is discarded and the organic phase is placed in a clean beaker. The organic phase is dried with anhydrous magnesium sulfate, this is filtered and washed with another 15 ml of fresh ethyl acetate. The majority of the solvent is removed using a simple distillation setup.
The last amount of solvent is removed by flushing air in through it, at the end, we obtained a slightly yellow oil, this is mainly cinnamaldehyde but it also contains some other major components as eugenol, the final yield was 0.50 grams of crude and dried cinnamaldehyde, which is close to the expected yield, thanks for watching.